This is a 3.3 volt and 8 megahertz Arduino Pro Mini onto which I have soldered the SMD version of the NLF 24S1 module and also a, I have connected it to an FTDI programmer that I will use to program this board. Now I am using the 3.3 version instead of the 5 volt version because it has an onboard 3.3 volt regulator that I can use to directly connect to the 3.3 the volt input of the NOF instead of using an external regulator. Now I will be using this as a PPM receiver for my next project which will be an Arduino based quadcopter again but using the Arduino Mega because it has a lot of advantages and the PPM receiver has an advantage of uh, a PWM receiver now PPM stands for pulse position modulation and PWM stands for pulse switch modulation now the advantage of a PPM signal is that you can receive up to nine channel of data with a with a 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequency receiver that the NRF has on the other side with a PWM with a PWM receiver you can receive only a channel of data with a 2.4 gigahertz frequency uh, radio uh, receiver which is the NRF here and also with a PPM receiver you will only need one wire to connect to your uh, flight controller or any other RC project that you are making uh, to send all the nine channel of data on the other side with a PWM signal you would connect one wire for each channel so if you have eight channel you would have to connect eight wire, wires from D2 to D from D2 to D10 for all the PWM for all the PWM signal uh, that you would use with a PWM, PWM receiver and with this one you will only need one wire so i will just connect one wire on the pin of d2 now to make the to make the connection of the nlf you will have the circuit on the screen which you can use to uh, to make this connection yourself now i have connected this one to the pin of d2 and you will also need two wires for the positive and negative one wire is connected to the pin row of the Arduino Pro Mini and another wire is connected to ground. Now this will be for the voltage input. So these two wires will be for the voltage input and this one wire will be for the signal. Now you can also use an Arduino Nano for this project and to which you will have to solder the NRF24 as one module or if you don't want to do the mess of connecting the NRF you can also use the RF Nano which is this one. The RF Nano has an NRF24 as one module integrated in the board. So like this you won't have to connect the wires to uh, that will that would make a mess in the board. So if you want to use the NOF you can use this one also. The code will be the same only the board will be different. But I will stick to the Arduino Pro Mini because it is uh, very small and light. Now that we have uh, made all the connection let's just program it. Now I connect my Arduino to my PC using the Arduino uh, cable with to my uh, FTDI programmer that I will be using to program my PPM receiver. Then I open my, uh, my Arduino IDE onto which I already have the PPM uh, code. Now you will receive the PPM code for the Arduino in my website. Check in the check the link in the description below. Now once you open the code, you will see it like this. The first thing that you need to ensure is that you have the NRF 24S01 library installed. If you have not done it, check in my previous post on my website. You will see how to install that. Now the second thing that you need to do is uh, to, to change the number of channels that you will receive. 
if I, I am receiving only six channels, so I will leave it to six. If you have a, a less or greater number of channels that you will receive. Now, this also depends on the transmitter, how many channels you are sending. So change it, it according to that. And I'm uh, sending the PPM output on the D2 of the Arduino Pro Mini. So I am setting it to pin of two. If you want to change that, you can also. The rest of the thing that you you need to keep the same and if you're using the rf nano make sure to change the csn this is the ce and csn pin and pin now for the rf nano the ce is connected to the the 10 to make sure to change that to the 10 to 10 and the csn pin is connected to 9 and the ne next thing that you need to change is uh, the clock multiplier. So if you're using this 8 megahertz version Arduino, the one that I am using, you need to keep the clock multiplier to 1. And if you're using the 16 uh, megahertz Arduino version, you need to change it to 2. So that's all that you need to do for this code and then you need to upload it to your Arduino Pro Mini. I have the 3.3 volt 8 megahertz version so I'll just upload it to it. Now once uploaded you have your, uh, uh, your PPM receiver uh, here. So this is our PPM receiver now. Now to check if it's working, I will use an Arduino Mega as a flight controller. And then I will test if I'm receiving the, the data in the, in the multi uh, multi display. Now, if you are using a flight controller other than the Arduino, you will have a PPM, a PPM input in that. But if you're using an Arduino me Mega, you will uh, add the row, you will connect the row pin to the 5 volt uh, output of the Arduino. The ground will be connected to ground. And the PPM output, which is D2 in the Arduino Pro Mini, will be connected to pin of A8. Now, A8 is used as a PWM input for a multi V uh, Arduino uh, flight controller. Now, I will upload the, PIP, the multi V uh, code in this Arduino. Now I have already uploaded the multi uh, code to the to this Arduino and I have enabled the PPM uh, receiver input. And now I open the multi uh, Win GUI uh, platform and then connect my Arduino to it. Once connected, I navigate to real time data and on the left side of it, you will see that we have the uh, data for the uh, transmitter and the receiver that you are receiving. Now I am using my transmitter that I have made early, uh, earlier just for testing purposes. Now it's a bit messy now here and I'll just uh, turn it on. I'll just turn it on and once turned on you will see that I, that I am receiving some data in this uh, in this uh, 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 display here so this is the data that you're receiving from the ppm receiver here so let's just see what happened when I, uh, I move up with the throttle you can see that the throttle data is uh, changing so that means we are receiving the ppm data correctly and if i move the yo you will see that i can change the yo with this also and also the pitch and roll that can be changed uh, using this one i think i uh, so this is the one okay so i can just move it to change the roll and pitch data okay so you can see everything is working with this ppm receiver so this is it for this video guys i have made this because a lot of you guys have asked me to make a ppm receiver using the arduino 
so you will be getting the code for it on my website i will just uh, post the link in the description below so thank you guys for watching see you in my next video